Hey, so I can't really say good morning because it's like three. Um, and I'm at my, my sister's softball game. I'm actually like an hour late, but that's just because I had to take a shower and everything. And I woke up kind of late and groggy and my back hurt. But I just kind of want to start it off. So if you see like sudden, like just me filming like softball stuff and you're like, what the fuck? That's why. So yeah. Anyways, I should probably get going before like my mom thinks I'm ready even later. Come on, Bianca! Come on, Cynthia. Good day, good day, good day. Because ya le hace swing no matter what. Don't hit it if it's not right. Too low, too low. Three more. One more and that's it. It's not your stuff. Yeah, go for the pizza. Come on, dear sir. Oh, too high. That was really bad. That was a really bad ball. It's not funny. It's not funny, girl. She's petty. Good eye. Come on, it's hot in here. Come on, Mia, you can do it. Come on, 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 you can do it. Yeah, I could. So I know it didn't really film a lot throughout the day, so I'm sorry about that. I just kind of got busy. So um, my sister's team won, by the way. I think you guys kind of saw that. Um, but yeah, they won the game. Um, so that means that for the season, they came in second for the season, I believe. So they weren't the fir like they weren't the first in terms of like the the. T I guess like I I'm not seeing the tournament but I guess like their little championship kind of thing like they ranked in second th with um you know throughout the whole like league I guess the park league in tr um at least for that particular park like from all the teams they were they came in second in the end so they were very happy my sister was very very excited because they started off on not such a good streak um they would like win the first game I think or they won the first game, and then after that, it, they had a hard time, like, winning 
and stuff, and then they had, I mean, their coach is nice and everything, but he, he was just kind of out of it a lot of the times, and, um, like, the communication just wasn't there. He wasn't very organized, so they, you know, lost a little faith, but the last few games, um, I think it was the last three games, including this one, they won, or something like that, or, like, this was the fourth game, fourth game that they won, but she was very, very happy, so, um, it's, you know, I'm really happy for her. So, yeah, but then when we came home, um, she was, like, talking to someone. I was, like, oh, we're, like, I'm, like, okay. So, uh, it turns out she was making an appointment to go get her eyebrows done. Um, but she actually, so I decided to go with her, and I got my eyebrows done because I've been needing to do them for a long time. And I also got, like, this done because I usually just, like, use tweezers or whatever. But waxing is always such a better thing to do. But you know, it's like, you know, it's necessary sometimes to do it. So, um, and I don't like the way Nair does it. Like, does the whole mustache stuff or like, you know, whatever this thing. So, because Nair always seems to like leave more hairs than you started off with. At least that's been like my experience. Um, when I do that, like the the upper lip area, um, it just, like, seems to, like, make it worse, so I should just wax it, but I just hadn't had the time, I ha I've had the money, but then when I had the, m when I didn't have the money, then, and had the time, like, obviously I couldn't pay for it, so, anyways, um, but since she was going, and, you know, I was like, well, I might as well, you know, just go with her, because she needed a ride, and I was, like, talking to my aunt on the phone or something, because, um, my aunt, and her friend actually left for Puerto Rico today to, for like a week of very much needed vacation that she hasn't taken. Like, she hasn't taken a vacation forever, like, if any time in her life. So, but she works really hard. So, I'm really happy for my aunt to have gone there. And I really expect a lot of pictures, at least. Not of them, but of, the, of, the, of Puerto Rico. Because um, they went to, um, what's it called? the beach and they actually showed this on the bachelor v vieca vieta puerto rico something like that's a beach i'm not like the, the name is like not coming to my head but um if i i'll look it up tomorrow um but yes i know they featured it on the bachelor the most recent one with uh, ben flashnik or whatever his name is um it was like one of the beaches that they went to, so yeah. So anyways, but yeah, I got my eyebrows done, so they're a lot more groomed. I needed it very badly because they're kind of out of control. Although I did feel them really thin after she did them. Um, but that's probably because I haven't done it in a while. And my sister, actually, she got kind of, um, the wax irritated her today. And like, the lady felt so bad. She was like, so surprised. She goes, that's never happened to me, like... You know, I that's why I use a sensitive uh, skin one and whatnot. But, you know, my sister's like, you know, like, dude, it's fine. Like, I'm like, yeah, she has really sensitive skin, like, so it's totally fine. Like, that's happened to her before. It's happened to her with, like, Nair, too. So, she's like, it's fine. Um, so, yeah. But then after that, we went to the mall with my mom, after, although it took us a while because um, we were all watching, like, Hard Evidence. So, I did get a few things at the mall. Um, I got some sandals, which I have, I think I've told you guys that I needed for a while. I decided to work on myself a little since I've been making good money and, you know, I haven't really, I mean, other than books and stuff, I haven't really done a lot of, like, shopping and stuff. But I got these really, really pretty sandals from, um, Aldo. So, I think... I know, it's like, you can't see them backwards, but, yeah. Um, so I got it from there, and, uh, they're really cute. They have, like, the little, like, they're very neutral, which I like, but I like that they also have, like, this, like, flash of neon color, and, um, they're, like, on sale, so they're actually really cute. But I totally love them, and I had wanted them forever, and I almost didn't find them, like, they were really well hidden. And I know they also come in, like, this neon green color. 
Um, but they didn't have those when I went, so. But I got, I got the pink ones. Since I guess pink is a little bit easier to kind of, um, you know, coordinate with outfits and stuff. But talking about the neon green stuff, I did get one other thing. I got this, uh, like, bandeau top bra kind of thing from um, American Eagle, and this was on sale as well. So, yeah. But that's all I got, so I spent, like, maybe around 60 bucks, probably a little bit less, but close to it. And so I think that's like it's totally fine. And then tomorrow I want to go look for some shorts, possibly. Um, but I also want to go to the farmers market to um, buy some flowers for my room. And maybe I'm gonna look up for the, I I had seen this DIY thing, and I'm not sure if I saw it on EllenBlair.com, I saw it on LaurenConrad.com or something like that. But um, or it might have been Pinterest as well, like or all three. But I'm gonna see if I can, if my dad has any, like, actual beer bottles left over and, like, make a flower vase out of that. If not, I have one I can use temporarily for, like, flowers. But I really wa want to, like, bring some color to my room because I always feel like it's so drab and I just, it makes, it kind of looks like I'm not exactly young. Like, it's very, like, there's, like, accessories, you know, that are mine and stuff, like, books and stuff. Other than that, there's like, I feel like it's lacking color lately, and so flowers is a nice way to do it. And they always say to put something living and, you know, nature-based in your room, and that's a good design tip. So, um, but yeah, so that's basically what I did today, and we kind of walked around and looked at stuff, and I tried some really cute shoes on at, um, Steve Madden, but they didn't. I don't know, like, there was, like, some weird fit going on with me and Steve Madden lately. Um, but, yeah, there was, like, these really cute wedges, but, like, they just made, like, my sister, it was really funny, we tried on the same ones, but on me, it made, like, you could, it made my legs look really skinny, and then on hers, it made them look kind of, like, chubby. So, yeah, but, um, and then there was these other saddles that I wanted that were, like, they're, like, the really plain, um, I'll put the link down below, but basically they're like the really plain sandals. They come in like mostly neutral colors, but I think they also come in like orange and blue. And they're like um, leather and just really like a thick leather band, the front, and then kind of crisscrosses where you, where you tie it. But the where the, my ankle goes, there's like it's like a, a leather piece in the back, and it's like so stiff. It holds my, like my ankle in well, which is nice because it means I don't break it. I don't sprain my ankle, but um, it's just like really stiff and stuff. And it, like it makes it, it it that's where it looks really loose from, even though it feels tight. So I just decided not to get them. But I got my other sandals. Yeah. And then uh, we came home. We were gonna try to watch a movie, but it was just like my mom was like, no, nah, I don't really like it. So we ended up watching. Another movie, so we had, um, which was the movie Milk, uh, with Sean Penn and James Franco, and Emile Hirsch among other uh, actors. Oh, and Josh Brolin, but yeah, and I don't remember some of the ac other actors. Um, I really liked the movie. I finished watching it. My mom had to was like tired, so she went to sleep. Um, about a third, well, a thir about a third of the movie was still left to you know, sorry, I'm talking, like, really confusing because it's late, but when two-thirds of the movie had, got, had like, you know, been watched already, she watched, like, two-thirds, and then she's, like, I'm really tired. I'm just going to end up, like, finishing it tomorrow. So I ended up watching it, finishing it, and, like, watching the whole thing, but I just think that he was a very inspirational man, um, and a very admirable, admirable man. Uh, you know, regardless of him being gay or anything, like, the fact that he was persistent and relentless in, you know, finding, fighting for what he believed in, um, and, you know, really caring about what he be believed in, because, I mean, the film focused on his, 
you know, right activism because that is what he was known for. But they also showed that he was like, you know, for housing, senior, you know, home, you know, um, senior housing and, uh, you know, good schooling and that kind of stuff. And so, you know, whether you agree with, you know, um, gay rights or not, I still think that, like, he, just him not, you know, letting people shut him down and just pushing forward for, with what he believed in and, you know, not wavering and not giving up is something to admire. And I do support gay rights, and I, I, I know I've talked about this before, but I just, you know, if it was hard back then because, I mean, the police would actually, like, pull people out of bars just to arrest them for, you know, stopping traffic or creating traffic on the streets and stuff, like, purposely, you know, just, and seeing that that hasn't, that while things have changed and more, there is more acceptance, more tolerance towards it, there's still so much, you know, there's still violence towards them and there's still discrimination, it's just, it's sad, you know, and not just, like, you know, towards gays, but even, like, minorities and stuff, <clears throat> there's still discrimination. It's just, you know, I just wish everyone would get along. And I know as human beings, sometimes we do criticize certain, you know, groups of people, and then, you know, whether it's right or wrong, I still, you know, myself included, um, I think sometimes we just kind of <clears throat> let society kind of take over our minds and stuff and act on things that are really irrational in the end and I don't think people should be discriminated against because they can't change who they are you know and we shouldn't expect them to change just because you know we think they shouldn't you know be who they are you know obviously like it's different in terms of like you know, it's one thing to discriminate against, like, people who deserve it, I guess. Like, you know, criminals, people, you know, child molesters and that kind of stuff and murderers. But <clears throat> it's another thing to discriminate for just being something you really can't change and being in terms of, you know, African American or Latino or what have you. You know, gay or, gay or straight, that, that really, you know shouldn't be an issue it's one thing if like you know they truly have done something terribly wrong but you know not singling them out just because you know they're of something you don't feel comfortable with but yeah anyways before I keep going on and just kind of repeating myself um I should probably go to bed so it it is almost 2 a.m. and I am kind of tired even though I'm kind of wired right now so I might do some magazine cleaning stuff um, but for the most part this is the end of the vlog I hope to actually get to the farmers market tomorrow like I said it is 2 already so I should probably go to bed um, and my room's like a mess so I also need to like clean up and do laundry and stuff and then finish my script because I didn't work on it because I just kind of gave myself a free day um, but that's what I'm like I just want to do a few things right now I don't want to like open the computer because I know I'm going to get tired as soon as I open it but I do want to like at least do some stuff if I can't fall asleep quite yet so anyways um, if you have any comments or anything like that leave them in the comments below kind of self explanatory but if you have any questions or anything like that or anything you want to tell me or if you want to give me a video response you know where to leave it don't forget to like and also, very important, hit that subscribe button. Alright, anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow and I will also try to upload the stuff that I've been telling you I'm trying to I've been trying to upload, but yeah. Anyways, good night, see you guys tomorrow.